Get him, get him, get him real. Nice. Ah, fuck. Yeah, that might be a shaker. Welcome back, guys, to another Jay-Z fishing video where we today are going for, you guessed it, some halibut in the SF Bay. We're going from a pier, Torpedo Wharf. We just picked up some live bait, which you guys will see footage from in a second. We're about to get to the pier and let's get started on catching some nice keeper halibut. See you there. Well, Zach, we got to the spot and why are you closing up the trunk? You explain, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> we got to the spot and the spot that we usually fish at is completely taken. It's 6 a.m. on a weekday and it's taken because, I don't know if you can see because it's all wide angle. But the people that are fishing the spot that we are usually fishing got there last night and actually slept the night at the spot. So potentially they know something we don't because they're already there and they've been there for the entire night, um, which means that we aren't fishing that spot today. We're going to another spot kind of closer to our house. So we're gonna cross our fingers that hopefully we can get this spot and we could hopefully get some fish. <laughs> we're currently driving. I don't know if this is the most optimal place to be sitting, but Zach, can you give us a review? Well, guys, this is my little seat review. Got the little footrest right here. <laughs> got this little like handle I could like move up and down. <laughs> got like some nice clean floors. Um, yeah, very much 10 out of 10. See you guys at the spot. All right, y'all, it's currently 7:10. We got most of the stuff down at the spot. Uh, if you guys don't already know where we're at, we're at Paradise Pier in Tehran today. And like Zach had said earlier in today's video, we're going for halibut, but more specifically with live anchovies. I'm gonna show you how we do all that. But just in a quick summarization, if you have not been halibut fishing with live bait before, especially here in the San Francisco Bay area, we went up to JNP Bait Shop in San Francisco, picked up $25 worth of bait, put it, Sorry about that. In a cooler with what was called an aerator to keep them alive. And we drove them to the spot here. And uh, we're going to get them on some size one live bait hooks. And we'll show you what we're doing with all that. But uh, right now I'm going back up to get an extra bucket to circulate some new water. With anchovies, it's very important that you keep new water circulating in as well as having a bubbler because those anchovies are very delicate and will die very easily. So. I'm going up right now to get it. Sorry if I'm a little out of breath. The only issue with this spot is you gotta walk up a hill, which can you know, put you out of breath if you're talking to a camera. But let's go get that, go back down to the spot, and get some fish. I told you I was gonna get bit. This is not bad, yeah. Get in. Yeah, you tighten the drag at all? Oh yeah, here it is. Well, right well, it's, I don't think it's keeper. Go on, ready? It's here, it's here. Oh, my phone's there. I know, you gotta see it. I saw it. Is it big? Cause I it doesn't look it. big. It's... Well, we gotta get it up, bro. But we can't net it. What do you mean? That'll break. Yeah. Well, what do you suppose we do? Well, you have to bring it up with the hand. I'm telling you, you can't net a shaker. Is it a sure? Oh, it's a striper. Okay, then yeah, we can Okay, wait, wait. Yeah, you got it. Nice. Yes, yeah, sir. Sorry. All right. How big of a striper is that? <laughs> oh, sorry. Ooh, I think it's 18. Let's see. Bro, that's what was biting him. Hey, hey I'll take it. Yeah. Okay. My phone went flying. Oh, God. Hey, we good. I don't know, dude. Because look, when you scrunch, that looks like that's 17 and a half. That's 17 and a half. That's like too close. I mean, you're the one that's gonna eat it. Do you want it? I think that's too close. All right, we can release it. Yeah, we'll release it. It's not it. like I'm eating it. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, buddy. There he goes. Shoo! Let's go. All right, y'all. Hectic start to the morning. Uh, we hooked and caught one striped bass. Cooked by me, caught by Zach. It was weird. Zach went up to pay for parking, and he literally was mad at me. He was like, "Nah, I'm gonna get a fish. I promise you." And you know, we always say that, but it never ends up happening. But sure enough, this time it happened. Zach went up, because Rob went off. So I picked it up and I set the hook and just literally let it sit there. And sure enough, Zach ran down 
and we landed that little striper. Um, it was so close. It was 17 and a half inches, um, borderline 18, but we threw it back because we're hoping for a bigger one and we're not trying to get a fine. Um, that's a lesson. If it's close at all, if it's close to keeper, any fish, just let it go. Let it go. It's not worth the potential fines. Um, but we got our lines back out in the water. Zach, quickly, you want to show them what this rig looks like? Oh, really? This guy needs to go in the water. Okay. <laughs> We're going to show you guys the rig later. Um, but here, I'll show you Zach casting. Perfect. Okay. That's about how far we're going out. And uh, the target is halibut striped bass. We've got one striped bass so far. Hopefully we had a halibut or a bigger striped bass. If you guys want to pick up any of the gear we're using, including rods, reels, any tackle, pliers, literally anything we're using, click the link down below in the description box and it'll take you right to all this gear that we use. Let's see how it looks. Big for a striper. Maybe a big one. Maybe a 40 inch. <laughs> that would be crazy. Oh, I got another one. Oh, you bet. Think about a rod. So there's hella bait in the area. Oh, oh, oh Zach. I, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yep, yep. That's okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, get the, um, get the oh, net. Cool. Yeah, get the net, get the net. I don't know. No, a striper. 100%. Well, just fighting like a striper. Yeah, just a striper. Let's just striper tied right now. You know what I mean? Double up. That'd be lit. Hopefully, keep her. Are you recording? Yeah. Okay, here, I'm gonna come around this side. I think it's a small one, though. Watch. Yeah. Yeah, another shaker. Same one. Damn near. No, I think this one's smaller. Yeah, some stuff was smaller. Hold the fire out works though. Yeah, you're right. Hey, it's getting bigger as you bring it up. Nah. <laughs> Whatever bite. 17. 17. Well, we both have already caught a striped bass, y'all. It's a striped bass for y'all. Ready? Yeah. Alright, get down too. Yeah. Shoo! Bye buddy. Man, Zach, I really, really want to go fishing, but I don't have any fishing rods, and I like what I see. What would you do? I would visit jzshorelinefishingadventures.com to book a charter with us. We do private charters for groups from anywhere from one person all the way up to 10 people. We have secret spots or public spots, depending on what fish you want to go to. Fish for tons of different fish and have a buttload of fun and catch fish like these that you've seen in this video. Or you want 100 pound stingrays but yeah yeah i've heard that they actually supply all the gear that you need to catch fish all you need to do is show up that's right click the link down in the description box below if you guys want to come fishing with us the prices are a lot cheaper than it were if you want to go out on a boat so if you're interested in that check the link down in the description box below y'all we have been literally out for what like an hour max oh 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 take, and he's getting another one got, yeah yeah all right. as i was talking we got another bite, so I had to put the camera in my mouth. Oh. I'm trying to get away a little bit. Yeah, but the action is absolutely incredible right now. We're getting striper after striper. Unfortunately, they're all like one or two inches short of keeper. Otherwise, we would already have a limit for one person. Striper limit here in California is two per person. So it's kind of crazy, but uh, crossing our fingers, we get a keeper here now. We're evolving. First it was, let's get a fish. Now it's, let's get a keeper. That's always a good, always a good evolution. And hopefully we can complete that evolution. Start recording? Yep. Well, just like that, I just stopped recording and we got another one. Looks like a school of small striped bass are cruising through. Daddy. Okay. Hopefully this one's a little bit bigger. 
Uh, maybe come around the other side. Come around the road. I, I come under. Always. Come under. Okay. Or not. Right here. Right. Oh yeah. Might be a little bigger. Nope. Nope. Get the f I'll get that. Okay. You're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you recording? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Up. Oh, yeah. Yep. Tire. Okay, right. Yeah. This way, buddy. Oh, that one looks fatter. It's definitely fatter. Maybe it's like an inch bigger. Let's keep it. Hopefully. We got some energy. Ready, ready, ready. Yes. yes. Oh, that could be a keeper. Thanks, keeper. Fat, too. Okay, the line's all wrapped up in my head. Yeah, you get this out. That's a fat one. Let's go, baby. Yeah, 18. 18. Beauty. Keep Look at it. that. All right, guys, this is the rig we're using right here. We got a swivel tied to some 20 to 30 pound mono right here. And then you have a sliding swivel connected from this mono to another swivel and a sliding swivel with more mono connected to a hook. We have a little small circle hook. I think it's like size one, size two, something like that. Size one, I believe it is. And we got another very long, I'd say three feet liter, or not liter, but mono liter, yeah, to the weight at the bottom. And the weight, just depending on how strong the tide is, anywhere between two and six ounces usually is good. And I like to use triangle weights because they stick in the bottom well. All right, guys, we're gonna grab our answer. Sorry for all the wind. So yeah, we're gonna grab, get the net in here, an anchovy. Oh, our guy over there has a fish, might help him. All right, so we got the anchovy right here. You're just gonna hook it right in the nose there. Don't hook the brain, and yeah, this is a real lively one. And you just, go. This one out here, you cast it anywhere between 10 feet and 50 feet, really, depending on the day. Fish will bite. Underhand. Yeah, nice underhand cast, don't overhand it. We'll swing back and forth. I'm gonna try and do this 20 or 30 feet out. Perfect. Right there. Wait for fish to bite now. Why not? No. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Let us sit if it's not there. Listen, 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 you never know. Listen, listen. You put it, like, put it down? Yeah. Bro. That's, that's, what, that's Remember, it does a little run, then it stops a little bit. Yes, he's still there. It's definitely not a crab, though, which is good. Oh, he's coming in. Real tight. Wait, wait, wait. Just let, let it say it might be a halibut. Stop playing with your fucking food, fish. This counts as a bite. Okay. <laughs> no. This is like, no. Okay. That's crazy. Uh, could, but play. there's nothing for me to botch, is like The whole idea is that it, it's like you botch it. You know what I mean? Like if I botch it. Fine. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm saying like, if this, if you, once you take the bait out. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can't even tell. Oh yeah, I feel like something. Yeah. I think. Oh yeah, I feel it's heavy. Oh yeah, how, how maybe? Let's give this feels more like a halibut. It's more like a halibut. Yeah, it's got the big head shakes. Oh, what's that? Watch out. This is the light rod, though. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Okay, oh, here, wait. I gotta go this way, though. Okay, okay, go. Thank you. It's feeling heavier to bring out. This one feels heavier than the one at, pair at the other pier. You got a very light rod. Yeah. Come on, show me the hell of it. Oh yeah, my yeah. Oh yep. my, oh my god. god. Yep, yep. Right here, Jeff. Okay, here we go, Zach. 
Nice and easy, nice and easy. Yeah. Nice and easy. Okay. Oh yeah, he's down too. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. Lift up! Yeah. Lift up! Yeah! Last yeah. fuck. Oh my god. Oh, Zach, shit, Zach, Zach. Shit. Bro, what do you want me to do? Lift it up, lift it up. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir! Nice! Yes, sir. Give me something, give me something, give me something, give me something. Yeah. Yeah.